in horror, it's not always about what can shed the most blood and cause the most chaos. Sometimes it's actually about being smart. After all, there's nothing more satisfying than watching a killer plan pay off. I'm Amy from What Culture, and here are the 10 most ingenious kills in horror TV shows. 10. Margaret Booth Gets Chopped and Shredded American Horror Story 1984 Even though the ninth season of American Horror Story features a dramatized version of the real-life serial killer Richard Ramirez, the most hateable character by far is still camp owner Margaret Booth. Having herself committed the infamous Camp Redwood massacre years ago, then framing the innocent groundskeeper for her crimes, she continues her reign of terror for years following. Needless to say, she earns herself a lot of enemies. Even in spite of their interpersonal issues, everyone trapped at the camper's ghosts band together to bring about her end. The issue is that if you die on the campgrounds, then you're stuck there, and nobody wants to be stuck for eternity with Booth. The group cleverly line up a wood chipper, aiming it so that the chips will launch out over the territorial line so her body and soul won't be kept trapped inside. Chopping off and chipping each of her limbs, they finally decapitate her and throw her body and head into the chipper, hoping that she'll be out by the time her few seconds of head-only sentience will end. It is actually very smart. I mean, it ended up not working because of their own poor execution, if you'll excuse the pun. But had they chucked her head out just a few seconds earlier, they would have committed a smart and brutal murder. 9. Introducing the Creature, Penny Dreadful Whilst the actual murderous act here wasn't much smarter than the average horror kill, its overall role in the plot of the show was really cool. In the plot of Penny Dreadful, we're introduced to Proteus, the creation of Victor Frankenstein. Fans loved Proteus and his wondrous, naive way of looking at the world. He seemed fairly sweet and harmless, which is unlike what we'd usually conceive of concerning the archetypal Frankenstein's monster. Again, unlike the archetype, Proteus wasn't a mishmash of parts, but just one reality animated man, who even retained some memories of his life before, including bits of vocabulary and his wife's name. The show's creators very cleverly showed us this creation and convinced us all to love him in all his innocence, only then to have Frankenstein's first creation literally tear him in half to reveal the real horror of it all. By having us grow fond of Proteus and think of him as the face of the creation, the show's creators made Caliban's entrance and characterization even more striking and awful. Caliban slash the creature is a jaded, low only monster who hates the fact that he's alive, and we feel it even more intensely in the wake of Proteus's impact. 8. A Flash Mob Murder Grim. What better way to hide a murder than with a spontaneous flash mob? Episode 3 of Grimm's first season is aptly titled Beware, referring to the murder that starts it all off where a young woman dies of anaphylactic shock after being stung by a bee. Allergic reactions are super common and they happen every day. When it occurs in a streetcar full of people dancing along to a boombox, it seems a little unlikely that what happened was an accident and not a purposeful murder hidden under a high energy distraction. Combining a swarm of bees and a dance crew seems like an objectively bad idea, so pulling it off is quite an impressive feat. Obviously, with a show like Grimm, things will always be a little bit more complicated than just some normal bumblebees being the culprits here, but the fact remains that covering any murder with a flash mob is smart and also very, very funny. 7. Using an alternative weapon – Fear the Walking Dead if in a struggle you find yourself unable to grab your opponent's weapon, it can be just a matter of time before they have the upper hand and you're left bleeding out. This is a time for innovation, for speedy thinking, but not everyone has that ability. Fear the Walking Dead's Nick Clark definitely did though. A beloved character, Nick was unceremoniously killed off in the show's fourth season, but not before he was able to kill Vulture Ennis. Ennis was responsible in a huge way for the fall of Nick's beloved stadium community, and Nick struggled in the wake of it to find purpose and peace. His revenge on Ennis was long due. Ennis refuses to change his ways, leading him into a fight with Nick that culminates in Nick smartly using his surroundings to impale his enemy on some deer antlers. As their scrap was going on, a decorative deer head fell from the wall and clearly Nick had his thinking cap on, seeing the opportunity to weaponize it. In a high-pressure situation, it's impressive to be so resourceful, and overall it was quite satisfying to see the self-assured Ennis meet his end impaled on a decorative deer head. Six. Death by Cursed Vagina American Horror Story Coven Now I need to start this off by saying that this is not a good thing to do. Nobody involved in this action is a good person and I'm not condoning what is essentially sexual assault on an unconscious man. With this in mind though, this is a TV show, it's not real, they're all actors and so let's just take it for what it is. A man being murdered by a cursed witch's vagina, which when said in isolation is objectively funny. The first episode of American Horror Story's third season has a lot of crazy going on in it and some incredibly brutal scenes 
Times 2. After a young witch, Madison, is assaulted by a group of men, she gets her revenge in some part by flipping the bus transporting them and thus killing most of them. One of them survives and is hospitalised, being kept stable and monitored by doctors. It's hard to kill someone in a hospital, I imagine, with all those medical professionals knocking about. If they find a corpse stabbed to death, for example, they know it's foul play and could maybe even revive them. That's why this is a smart kill, because witch Zoe is able to kill men via intercourse because, and yes, this is the actual plot by the way, her vagina causes brain aneurysms. She leaves no evidence of external wounding, damages his brain to the extent that there can be no survival, and slips out of the building confident she'll never face any consequences. 5. A Loudspeaker Exorcism Supernatural. The season 3 episode, Just in Bello, features a very smart demon extermination effort that, frankly, should have been employed far more often throughout the show. The Central Brothers, Sam and Dean, find themselves trapped in a sheriff's office surrounded by demons. After they turn down a friendly demon's suggestion of a vaporizing spell, the pair end up finding their way out the good old-fashioned way, and leaving the demons trapped inside the jail. The building is rigged with speakers and an intercom system, and Sam sets up a pre-recorded exorcism to play out over the speakers and rid the entire office of demon folk. It does have to be said that this entry is cheating a bit because the demons are sent back to hell rather than being killed for good, but given that they failed to rid the world of the Winchesters, it's not too far-fetched to assume they wouldn't be long for this world when they made it back home to hell. 4. Lawnmower Murder, Scream Queens It's not an exaggeration to say that this is probably the most well-known moment from the show. Even if you haven't watched Scream Queens, there's a good chance you saw this clip go viral on Twitter or Tumblr. The fact that the victim of this murder seemed to be a pretty harmless girl is a bit unfortunate, but it doesn't take away too much from how clever it is. One way to define how clever someone is is to see how well they adapt to and use their environment. And the lawnmower kill in the very first episode of the show took some serious forethought. It's well known that one of the Chanel's hazing rituals involves burying new pledges up to their necks in the garden and just leaving them out there for a while. And we sort of have to applaud the devils for taking advantage of that. Killing someone with a knife or gun is boring. Mowing their head off whilst giving the grass a trim is amazing. 3. A Secret Snuff Film, Inside Number 9 Inside Number 9 is known for being incredibly smart and having the absolute best twists. It wouldn't be a Number 9 episode without a mind-bending ending. Not all endings involve murder, and this means that when they do, it's even more of a surprise. There's lots of ways you can go about killing somebody, some easier and some harder. One of the most elaborate ways to do it, I imagine, would be to set up an entire film in which none of the cast know that the scripted murder is going to be very, very real. Throughout the episode, the Devil of Christmas, we watch what we believe is the filming of a Christmas-themed horror movie. Coming to the wrap of the film, the main character Kathy sits on the bed pouring champagne for herself and her secret lover, Simon. We believe it's the final twist when Simon reveals himself to actually be Krampus after all, having chained her to the bed. She believes it's all over when she finishes her final scream, but the stagehands don't move to unchain her. Instead, they put a plastic sheet underneath her and violently gag her to stop her confused outcries. This is when both Kathy and the audience realise that this is all too real, and another actor dressed as Krampus comes in front of the still rolling cameras wielding a machete. Kathy's fear is entirely real because she, just like the rest of the cast, had no idea what this was going to turn into. The camera cuts just as he swings the weapon and just like that, this horror movie turns into a snuff film. 2. Making Bad People Kill Each Other – Black Mirror One of Black Mirror's most famous episodes is season 3's Shut Up and Dance, where we follow central character Kenny as he completes completes increasingly questionable tasks under threat from an internet hacker. The hacker has gained access to Kenny's laptop and got hold of some footage of him masturbating, which would be bad enough for it not for the fact that he was doing it whilst looking at some seriously horrible stuff. If he doesn't follow the commands, the footage will be leaked and his life will be ruined. This same hacker has a bunch of people under his thumb, blackmailing others for actions such as committing adultery. One way to make sure you never get charged with murder is to make other people carry out the kills for you, and that's just what this hacker does by utilising these people under his control. The final task set by the blackmailer is that the victims must fight each other for a cash prize and assumedly to be let off the hacker's hook. Kenny ends up winning the fight, but as he staggers away, he realises it was all for nothing, because all the blackmail material has been released anyway. As far as the blackmailer is concerned, he's done the world a favour. He's got one bad guy to kill another, and now Kenny's going to jail for looking at child porn. So really, he's practically done the police a favour. 1. Jadis grinds up her friends. The Walking Dead. 
After Simon goes rogue and slaughters the entirety of Jadis's camp in season 8, she's left as a lone ranger against an army of the dead. Those who were previously her friends are now just mindless killing machines thirsty for her flesh, and Jadis realizes that in order to survive inside her garbage kingdom, she needs to clear the place of walkers. Luckily for her, she actually has the perfect weapon at her disposal. She goes up to the rubbish grinder, designed in the life before the apocalypse, to flatten and compress various items. Now she boots up the generator, removes the chain barrier, and gets grinding, its noise drawing in the walkers and then crushing and mushing them into meaty slush. She stands safely at the other side of it, watching in absolute horror as each of her closest associates gets ground down into a fine paste. It's an incredibly smart way to make her space safe again, even though it comes with the trauma of seeing her besties chewed up by those huge metal teeth. And on that note, we've reached the end of this list of the 10 most ingenious kills in horror TV shows. There's loads more out there, so please let us know what your favourites are in the comments down below. And remember to check out whatculture.com for more lists and articles like this every single day. As always, I've been Amy from Whatculture and I'll catch you next time.